Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something a little bit different for you. We are going to be looking at the most viral fingerstyle guitar videos on YouTube. We are joined by Will McNichol on Zoom and uh, let's get into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So first up, this is uh, Antoine Dufour. The track is called These Moments and it got 4.6 million views on YouTube. Well, are you ready? Whoa. Oh yeah. Cool. Let's do it. And he always Man. is already getting points for his uh, guitar um, accessories. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that that uh, leg rest is outstanding. I mean, this is just such a beautiful piece of music, man. I mean, I, I remember taking a student through this um, a good few years ago he wanted some advice and it was <laughs> very difficult for me to give some because it's such an Antoine piece you know it's just, it just makes it look so effortless but obviously there's so much going on so effortlessly played wonderful textures groove melody it's got it all it's absolutely got it all i think there's always such a fine balance to be struck with this style of playing you know, it can sometimes be like all flash and no smash. Sure. But in this case, I feel like it's very tastefully done. Yeah, absolutely. And all in service of the tune. A absolutely, man. I mean, it's, it's just it's just stunning. And I think we, you know, props to the control here, because I mean, there is such a lot going on and maintaining the control and the good tone on the fretting hand, as it's doing all of the tapping, and then the percussive elements. Oh, it's just a gorgeous piece of music. It makes me very happy indeed. I love that little bass lick. Such a cool little groove. Click that. I don't even know what tech that technique is. Yeah, that can hurt if you do it wrong. You know, like taking the is back like, of your is finger. Is he like hitting the top of the guitar with his thumb there, like a little slap? Yeah, yeah it's the kind of it's the uh, it's the side of the guitar, just kind of coming down across it with the back of the finger. So kind of getting kind of that part of the fingernail there, going across it, and it is it's a lovely sound. But I remember when I um, tried going through parts of it. And I did it wrong. <laughs> I caught the real edge of the guitar, and that it really hurt. <laughs> so you've got to be careful with that. And this piece, you know, it's got a lot of lovely gear changes to it as well, you know, which is really, really lovely. Keeps you interested. So this has had 4.6 million views. I don't know when this was uploaded, um, but is it worthy of those 4.6? Oh, hell yeah, man. I think it needs more and, than that. And another 4.6 on top of it. Yeah. It's a real celebration of what the modern acoustic guitar can do, I reckon. It's really, it's just beautiful. Okay, let's listen to the next tune. So this is Eero Nareth. I think, I hope I'm pronouncing that. Eero? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure of... Uh... My heart will go on. 30 million views. All oh, right. That's a lot right, of views. We're in for it. We're in for it. <laughs> we're in for a doozy here. I hope. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 12 string. Mmm. That's twice as many as normal string. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> Tom Sands dropping some big knowledge there. So this is, of course, this is a cover of Celine Dion's theme from... Titanic. Yeah, it's nice hearing the 12 string in this context. I don't often hear it like this, to be honest. So this is another um, percussive piece. Mm. And I'll be really honest. Please? I really don't like percussive playing on guitars. You don't like I the percussive playing guitars? No. I think it's 
I think it's just because I'm always like, that's going to leave a scratch. Yeah, well. I'm gonna, somebody's gonna, some poor Luthi is going to need to buff that out. Well, that is fair enough. Because, well, I've seen the look that you've given me when I've done <laughs> love, love um, the dog. neck bends. crying in the background. <laughs> she doesn't like she doesn't like percussive things done either. <laughs> I mean, it's powerful though, right? I mean, the 12, the 12 string thing yeah. on these chords, it's pretty epic. So, I mean, look, we've got some classic percussive techniques being kind of thrown in here. We've got that yeah, kind of kick drum sound. Techniques. Kick drum sound where you bring the kind of base of the palm into contact with the top there, kind of usually somewhere above the sound hole, right? And then you kind of back that up with the thumb string slap on the bass strings to give that kind of almost like snare kind of combo. So you get the kick and snare backbeat going through. It's really effective, you know, if it's done well, you can really keep a solid beat going whilst everything else is being played. And when you've got a piece like this where there's quite a lot going on, um, if you separate out and just listen for specific elements, you can really understand what actually each one is doing. So if you just focus in on the percussion, for example, for a bit, you should be able to focus in on what is actually going on in terms of where those beats are happening and where the percussive elements are being added in. Cool, should we move on to the next one? Yeah. 30 million views, worth it? 30 million, that's a lot of views. Do you think, um, do you think that's a uh, fair? fair uh, number of views for a video I of mean, this quality. I mean, the video itself is, I mean, it's a very well shot thing, isn't it? You know, it's beautiful and it sounds epic. So, so yeah, I mean, obviously in, the thing is you'll, I think you'll quite commonly find when you've got a cover of a very well-known song that tends to help the old view count a little bit, I, I mm -hmm, think, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm sure Celine would be uh, very proud. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Right. Let's see what else we got. All right, so next up, this is uh, 155,000 views. Mm -hmm. Ian Ethan Case. Okay. Do you know that name? I do indeed, yes. So this looks like an ovation of some kind. Two the necks. headstock would suggest that, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's got quite distinctive headstock. Two necks and a lot of tapping going on. amazing kind of like almost like slap bass style technique on the lower of the two and look like we've got some doubled strings on the top neck as well right yeah oh yeah of course like 12 string. 12, huh? yeah i mean the independence is is pretty amazing to see isn't it? I mean, they kind of the way those two hands are kind of doing such independent things across the two. So he's also very he's also going to be like because he's playing like essentially slap bass on the uh, on the bottom guitar there, on yeah. the bottom neck. So there's going to be like a lot of palm muting happening there too, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's an awful lot going on here. Do you like my um, my insertion of? Uh, some vague knowledge of technique. <laughs> That's very good, man. What was the was the technique? Slap bass. Palm, palm <laughs> muting. Oh, palm muting. Oh, very yeah, good. Palm yeah, very, very good indeed. What do you think of this musically? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where I think it's oh, it's so intricate, right? There's so much going on um, within it, and it's one of those ones where I think that if you're really going to dig into it from a listening point of view, you've got to give it a few listens, really. I need mm. to understand really what's all going what on What is here. this technique? It's, it's like strumming the chord whilst fretting the chord with his index finger. Yeah, so, I mean, it looks to me like he's doing uh, like a bass string tap across maybe sixth and fifth string there. Um, and whilst the finger's tapped and sustaining those bass notes, also using another finger to kind of strum, which is kind of, you know, oh, that amazing is stuff. madness. He's, he's practiced for quite a while. At least a few Good minutes. A couple of nights on that, I would expect. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's probably st I, I imagine he stayed up way past his bedtime on several occasions. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. Yeah. I mean, look, this, this is just 
you know, such a, um, a great example of all of these extended techniques being thrown in all at once, right? You know, usually one, one, any one of these elements kind of is a challenging thing to get right. You know, if you just get like fretting hand tapping down and getting a, a good sound out of that, that's hard. Um, all the slap style technique, that's hard to get right. And it's going to give me, an, this is going to give me an anxiety attack if I keep listening. I'm going to have to press stop, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's just, there's so much, it's so, like, there's so much to see. I can't, I just don't, my tiny brain doesn't, it just, it's exploded. It. It's exploded. It's like, yeah. Um, uh, it's, so it's, it's Ian just... Ethan Case has given Tom Sands an anxiety attack. Yeah, I'm going to have to take go and, like, take some paracetamol or something. Yeah, have a cold bath. In a dark room. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's cool though There's, I think a lot of the time like you were saying with all these techniques unless you are like super precise with them they just sound shit yeah sure absolutely and absolutely. like every single one of those taps and hammer-ons and strums just like perfect it's all there isn't it it's all there if, could I listen could I listen to it like in the car on a daily basis probably not but mm. I think you know I think it deserves way more than 155k views, though. I mean, for sure, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because it is, it does have that other element which can go down rather well, which is just immediately visually impressive, and for videos that often helps boost the views. So, so yeah, nice work, I'm in, Ian. I'm into it. Do you know where he's? Where's he from? I don't know actually. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put a comment and ask him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up, uh, Marcin Partzalak. Uh, that, I've butchered that, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, this is an America's Got Talent audition. Okay. And uh, it has 50 million views. It's up there. Are you Are you ready? I'm ready. What What guitar is that that he's playing? Oh, I don't know, Taylor? actually. Not at all. Interesting uh, little inlay the headstock. Yeah, there. the marking on the headstock. No, it's not, a, it's not a Taylor Bridge, is it? Hmm, I don't home? know. don't know, let's hit play. He's very happy, he's very excited, he's nervous. And he's weak, finally he's sweating. <laughs> There's vomit on his, is it a tailor welcome, already? Welcome, welcome, what's your name? My name I is mean, this Marcy. is such an amazing thing to be able to I'm do, 18. I think. I just turned a couple of months ago. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the confidence at 18 to do this is amazing. Yeah, so I actually come from Poland, from a very small from city. Poland. But soon mm -hmm. I'm going to relocate here in the States because I got accepted to college. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do for us today? So, I'm a guitarist, as you can tell. I don't sing. Oh. And why, why America's Got Talent? First of all, it's like the best show on earth, so, so that's the best reason. Just, I'll just pick up on something there, just pause for a moment. So the look that Simon Cowell gave when he said, I'm a guitarist and I don't sing, that kind of disapproving <laughs> look. I've, see, I have, I've been on the receiving end of that look so many times <laughs> over my career. <laughs> like turning up to gigs and just like sound checking and that, and the, and the guy's like, uh, should we just check the vocals then? I was like, oh no, I don't sing. And they're like, ooh. <laughs> Tough gig. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, Relatable that's... Uh... Let's resume here. I want to hold you up. We're excited to see what you got. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it, Martin. Oh, two outputs. Yeah, oh yeah. Can we just... Simon Cowell was seemingly very impressed by those first couple of like noodle chords. Do you know oh, really? that? Just have a look. Let's have a look again. Oh, oh the, the, the eyebrow raise! Wow, <laughs> the guy can play. <laughs> this is poor finish work. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> ah, this is... I can't. The thing that amazes me is the, having the ability and the confidence to come out on a stage like that from cold and just launch oh, into a piece Oh, and just nail like it first time, sure. Like, you can't, obviously, put some very impressive skill. It's talent, dedication, practice that's gone into that. Uh, 
And the thing is as well, like, we, we, on a stage like this, in front of an audience like that, I mean, as a solo instrumental guitarist, being able to kind of grab people and be able to kind of really Charming. command them, it's yeah, just, yeah. It's, it's a really amazing thing. I mean, like, I just imagine myself up there, sitting politely down on a stool and just playing some very, <laughs> With it, you your know. Shoes up. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think it would go Tony down Cruise. as well, man. Tony at Cruise? all. Is that Tony Cruz? He loves it. Terry Cruz, yeah. Terry Cruz. Tony Cruz. <laughs> I mean, this, this, well I mean, this sparked Marcin's, you know, career, which has just oh, been... Oh, so you know Mar Of course you do. You know Marcin yeah, as well? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, he's just, you know, exceptional what he's been able to do. And, and another great example of just taking the acoustic guitar and putting it in front of a mass audience, you know. And that that's, that's an impressive thing, I think, to be able to do. Yeah, that was, um, pretty, that was pretty wild. Yeah. Just yeah. The, and, luthier, the luthier in me just can't... I just can't just stop hitting it. <laughs> Well, this is might be because you know I'm watching all these percussive guitar videos. And I'm getting kind of inspired, Tom. So I'm just even, saying, don't, just saying, no. getting kind of inspired by the percussion. No, you're not. I'm going to give you some gloves, <laughs> <laughs> some like box, big boxing gloves. You can't play. You can't yeah. play the guitar without a big boxing glove. Yeah, I mean, awesome. you know, again, it's it's not for me. The the that kind of for oh, me, sure that's no, that's it. all flash and no smash. You know, it's mm. it's. Um, but the the like the the technicality, the technical ability, and and the arrangement, like, amazing. Like you can't, you absolutely can't take that away from him. Absolutely, um, and just I mean, you know, can't um, you know overstate how hard it is to be in a scenario where you haven't had a set to warm up into anything like this. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. Beh you're backstage. You you probably got a little bit of that nervous energy kind of going through you. Well, you know you'd have to have a bit of a nervous energy going in front of that audience right in that scenario and come out and just be so controlled over it you know it's just it's it's incredible it's really that's a very difficult thing to be able to do i think um just just get up and play a tune one and just absolutely smash it um from cold is 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 amazing so yeah hats off to you martin for managing to do that epic um 50 million views yeah, yeah. warranted fair play okay Ready for the next one? Yes, sir. We've got three, we've got three left. <laughs> All right, let's go. No, that's what we've got a lot of twelve strings today. Yeah, I know. Twelve string being very well represented here. Excellent. Do you know this piece, Tom? Um, I don't. I really don't like acoustic guitars. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> Ocean by John Butler, I think, it, it is is a piece that has inspired a lot of people to get into into acoustic guitar. And I have had yeah. conversations with so many students about this piece. You know, it is a bucket list piece for so many people. You know, and quite right too. It is. It's awesome and it's epic. It's playing a mate on. It looks like. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Okay, more tapping. A lot of tapping, and on the twelve string, it has an interesting effect, doesn't it? You know, the notes seem to have a, perhaps a little bit more body behind them because you've got those doubled strings, which I kind of like. I'm going to skip this on a little bit. Sure thing. So this whole piece is just a massive kind of crescendo in a way, you know, builds gradually. It's quite proggy in that way. And you can see here, you can you need know, the establishment of that beat and that groove after that. So kind if of quite... I skip forward a bit more, is it going to... It builds and builds. Oh, sure it does. So this is where the 12 string really is just such yeah, an epic sound, yeah. isn't it? Just this wall of sound. Amazing. That guitar is seeing some action, hasn't it? It sure he's, has, man. That's another... He's been hitting that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Luthier's response to this stuff. <laughs> no, it's I'm so just funny. Like, oh. it's, so, it's so different to, like, you know, a guitarist's response. He's like, oh, man, that's really cool, you know? You're really kind of going to sound and you're, like, having a panic attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Can you play this well? I've never learned the whole learned thing. Or have you learned it right? I'm sure you could play it, of course. I've, I've, I've never learned the whole thing, but I've certainly um, gone through elements um, of it with students who've really wanted to learn it, and a few of my students have done a really, really good job with this piece, actually, over the years. Wow, all that, like, those hammer-ons and pull-offs, that's, there's going to, you need some stamina in the... Oh, dude. And look, I mean, this version of it is, like, you know, 12 minutes long, man. Which is, I mean, you, you know, you could do it. People do kind of like slightly shorter versions of this, but the 12 minute one, yeah, stamina, absolutely. Okay, let's uh, scooch on a little bit more. Sixty-two million views. Yeah, I mean it's a classic. It's yeah. it's kind of cemented itself in the kind of acoustic guitar hall of fame. I think that. All right. Next up is uh, this is our second to last uh, uh, tune, and <laughs> I really need to do my homework. Like this is literally the only tune that I know off this list, but and it's the only name. Well, I know John Butler, but um, yeah. So John Gomm, Passion Flower. Mm-hmm. This is a, this is a classic. Nineteen million. This is this is. Uh, this is an old one, um, yeah. and uh, John's from Leeds, so oh, yeah, of course, instantly yeah, gets extra do. points. Oh yeah, um, I'm already uh, enjoying all of those pedals that he's got there. Um, I mean, that looks like a relatively under control setup, you know, in the grand scheme of things. I think massive. Sound. I mean, it's huge, isn't it? Huge sound, and this is on his his original Loudon. What's this guitar That's called? Right. Oh, I can't remember. Is it Wilma? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Now, this is more, this is already more interesting to me. Apart from that part. <laughs> because of the, the, the effect that is got going on here as well, mm. like it totally changes the sound of the instrument. Yeah, it, it's just such a cool sound. I mean, it's just, Little bit of and of course, filth you have the, the banjo tuners going on here. Mm. I love this theme. Some nice uh, harmonics there. That's clever. It's so cool, man. And it started a whole thing, you know. It, I think this whole use of the banjo tuner style effect with special harmonics. I mean, this is certainly the first time I heard it being used, and now it's kind of inspired a lot of other players to do similar things, which is awesome. And he's singing. Yeah, of course he is. I mean, you know, this is as if as if um, everything else isn't enough. This is taking pat in your head and rubbing your tummy to a whole different dimension, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Absolutely. He is. Um, what, what I love about this as well is because obviously some of the other pieces that we saw previously were arrangements of very you know, famous existing pieces and this is obviously all just John's original work and that always excites me when I hear something which is truly original done so well um, and I remember the first time I saw this video and it was just like you know what it's mind blowing stuff this it's just beautiful serves the music that he's trying to create, you know. I could listen to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have listened to this many times. Uh, our mutual friend Marcus Wong does a very beautiful uh, rendition of this. Does he now? Well, that's yeah, impressive. Does, yeah, this is not not an easy thing to do at all. Yeah, it's just great. Isn't it? What you grow into. Right, let's go to our last one, which I believe is a bonus tune. 
Oh, a bonus track. A Happy bonus days. tune. This one, this one's had fifteen thousand views. <laughs> so maybe a, an underappreciated it's, gem. It's like, Slightly um, different view count there. Yeah, but you know what? Fitness, you From know. 19 million to 15,000. Well, you ready? I'm ready, man. Whoa! Ah, uh, yes. A youthful Will McNichol there. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> that is you. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> what's, what's, what's this... Um... This uh, music. What's going on here? Talk, talk to me about the decor. Yeah, I think that was a that was a kind of um, ill-informed decision to try and add a little bit of variety to my backdrop at the time. And I just okay. had a load of these old scores knocking about, and I was like, you know what? Let's shove them on the wall. That will add an element of interest. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm I'm interested. Are you? Well, that's good. Yeah. That's nice. To and hear. this, uh, you're playing your filed here. Yes, this is my. This would have been relatively soon after I got this guitar, I would, have, I would think. So, oh man, when would that have been? Would we be talking maybe 2012, 2013? Okay. Maybe. I, I can't quite remember off the top of my head, but somewhere around about there. Okay, well, I'm going to hit play. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing there? So that I'm picking those. Uh, parts of the string which are obviously behind the um, nut. Show off. And what what I realised was when I scored this piece out and I had to write that in, it was quite difficult to know what to do because it's very guitar specific. Because some guitars sound pretty awful actually okay. uh, <laughs> with those bits of string up there. It just so happened they happen to be in quite a nice set of notes that I could actually use in this piece. Like your little hip shimmy you've got going on. Well, this is back when I used to play standing up as well, yeah. which is quite quite unique because I don't do that anymore. Oh, that was nice. Man, I'm doing quite a lot of movement onto that harmonic there. It's funny. It's funny, like watching back old videos of myself, man. Oh goodness, it's not, it's not an easy thing to do. And this is all just pickup sound as well. I think I just plug straight in. Um, and this is the anthem, right? Yeah, it's the anthem with no, no kind of external microphone. What's this tune called? It's called Tundra. And it uses a few little techniques, like, I've, like that little drag of the ring finger down the strings there. Something that yeah. I've used in a few different pieces over the years. I quite enjoy that little technique. I like calling it the old pick and drag. And then, yeah. Are you playing on... Are you just hitting on the 12th fret, or are you plucking no, no. as well? Yeah, it's, it's an example of one of those artificial harmonics where you pluck with your thumb and oh, um, use okay, your index okay. finger to You're kind of place very, the... You're being very, like... I don't know why I'm doing such a... Such a uh, yeah, I'm doing quite a kind of exaggerated movement with it, and I don't really know why. It's the kind it's of thing a that I would... spice to the performance. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's the kind of thing that I would pick up on a student. I would say, hmm, maybe a little bit of excess movement going on there. Probably need to look into that. Economy of motion is not uh, optimal. Yeah, here. exactly. I mean, a little bit of string slappy. You're going to break dancing any time. Yeah, just in a moment. <laughs> Some choreography is needed here, I think. <laughs> it is a little bop, isn't it, that I'm doing there? Do you still play this tune? I haven't played it for a while, actually, but I sometimes do dip back into some of the riffs just for a bit of fun. Bringing out the octaves there. So, yeah. I mean, it, there are... Con this is kind of partly inspired... I mean, because, you know, we did, used to do quite a lot of that percussive stuff back in the day. And there's a, a, a few little moments of it coming through in this piece, for sure. Very, very naughty of Mr. Will Killen to add this to the list. <laughs> he told me it was going to be the one where you're walking through the deer park. Oh, I God. Was... <laughs> I mean, I, I'm really, really, I'm very grateful that it wasn't that one because it would be very difficult to justify that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, and, and I know I'm like slightly biased, but this is my, this is my favourite. Oh, it's, well, Tom, uh, come on now. It's, it's all flat, all smash and mi minimal flash. I mean, you tried to inject some flash. <laughs> a little bit the, of flash with that kind of over-the-top motion. And the little twiddly bits at the top of the strings there. But. Um, yeah. 
Oh, I'm into it. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, man. Fifteen k views is not enough. Well, you know, for me, that feels like not bad. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Fair. 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 Cool. Well, that, I think that's the end of our list. So I, I really hope you enjoyed our little uh, look through some of the most viral videos on YouTube uh, for acoustic guitar. I enjoyed it. I had a lovely time. You enjoyed it. I enjoyed okay, it. You. I hope you guys at home enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>